I know you're looking at the title like, yo, is it February, my guy? Why are you talking about 2K21? I know most people usually make their wish list around the June, July, August time. Realistically, if there's a chance for anything to make it into a game, it needs to be said early. So if they're going to attempt to actually do it, they can make it in the game. Now, let's start into the most important thing off the rip. Movement. Movement is the most important thing in any basketball or sports game. This was brought to my attention by a guy on Twitter, and I'm gonna kinda copy a little bit of what he did. Let's look at 2K16 and 2K20 movement side by side. I always reference 2K16, because I think that's the best movement in any game, sports game, simple. I don't really know what happened in 2K20, because 2K19 was also really smooth itself. The only 2Ks that have had actually awful movement are 18 and 20, so let's try to just avoid whatever happened in those two games, let's avoid it. But just look at the momentum behind the back in 2K16, man. Versus compared to 2K20, where they kind of try to take it out, and you see it just makes it extremely slow paced. Now let's just check out a running crossover. Y'all see what I mean? All around in every single shape or form, is it just significantly smoother, the animations you get. Every single thing about going to the paint, perimeter offense and defense, it's smoother in 16. I want that movement system in 21. One of my favorite things 2K20 did was the build system. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was not a big fan of archetype until this year. Hey, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, 2K, I think you caught a W with this build system. It gives us the freedom, the badges, I like how you can choose that. I think they should have the 2K20 build system. That's my personal opinion. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys like this build system better, 17 or the 16 when it was inside, outside, and balance? Now let's talk about something they ruined, dribbling. Let's look side by side at just the selection of dribble moves in the screen. Look at 19 versus 20. It's an exact copy and paste, except for 20, they're just like, nah, we're taking out some of these. Like, no, what? Bring back the dribble moves. Give us more dribble moves. Don't take everything away. 16 and 17, without a doubt, had the biggest arsenal of dribble moves. Do not take out every move in hopes of balancing the game. Learn how to balance the game naturally, not by dumbing it down to the point where, where there's no moves or creativity in the game. You know what I mean? Now, oh my goodness, my favorite part, a park rep rewards. Do you remember the surprise of loading into a park and seeing a tiger for the very first time? I do, yo, I literally could not believe that a basketball game had a tiger in it. That was innovative, and most importantly, it just surprised me. Not to mention in 2K17 when I saw the jetpack for the first time. In 18 and 19, they did not have anything surprising. They just kind of raised your badges, which is cool, but it's nothing like exciting, you know what I mean? 20, I, I, I get where you're going with the helicopter, but let's just be honest, it's definitely a downgrade from the jetpack in 17, where you could actually fly it around and hover over courts. So I want the surprise effect, and don't just make it for the top rep reward. Don't want some new stuff all around. Y'all got a whole year to think about some stuff, man. And don't take away old stuff. Yo, the tiger would be dope still. Imagine in 2K21, you're going through the park with your tiger, your jetpack, after you load in off the helicopter, with whatever new stuff is there. Who knows, but 2K, you can think of something. Don't take away the old rep rewards, bring that back and add some new stuff on top of it, you feel me? The neighborhood slash park. I ain't gonna lie, y'all always big time, just for the fact that I, we all got capped to about this neighborhood. People like park way better than neighborhood. I think the biggest flaw in the neighborhood is just getting games back to back, because the stores are right there, so if you're gonna keep the neighborhood, which I don't think people really want, we want the park mostly, please separate the stores from the neighborhood. Please! We want parks 100%, but listen 2K, if you insist on doing the neighborhood, do not give us one park! Y'all remember the aesthetics just sitting outside the Ferris wheel, the ocean, the waterfall at sunset, a shark tank? Now you just got a whole bunch of buildings sitting around, yo. <laughs> I want three parks or three neighborhoods, whatever they're gonna do. We want the affiliations back. Back in the day, for those who didn't know, there are three park affiliations, and throughout the year, each park affiliation would battle against each other, In the winter got a brand new DLC park, yo. I don't know where the times have gone, but with these park events, 2K, y'all spend like a little bit of time on the design, and then we only get to play for like, two hours out of like every few weeks. Like what? In addition to the affiliations, it was little small things like the ball lighting on fire when you were in Old Town. The rim shaking when you were in Rivet. Oh, the ball being on fire when you shot when you were in Sunset. I need it all back. This is random and it's not the biggest deal, but I know it will make a giant deal for the content creators at least. 
I don't care. Next gen, I better have some theory mode, bro. It's been way too long. This next part, I'm gonna go through really fast because we've been asking for it for like five years. The atmosphere of walking around the rec center, pulling up on your friends, dropping people off 5v5, wearing your own clothes, wearing the mascots, the rep awards, whatever it is. Wearing that in a rec center game is significantly better. Walking around the rec center is significantly better than rec center matchmaking, but there should always be an option to cut on matchmaking if you want to get put in the game instantly. Also, stage in 2k15, super dope. That's the best stage to me. Not only was it the stage, but you caught an elevator upstairs to high rollers, my guy. Yo, that, yo, it does not get any better than that. That was actually amazing. That is it. Hey, I, I went through it pretty fast. Those are the things I think will make NBA 2K21 great. I went from the movement to the rewards to the dribbling. But that's all I have to say. Let me know in the comment section what makes sense. What would you want in 2K21? Like I said, I know this is extremely early, but at the same time, if there's a chance for any of it to get in the game, it has to be out now. Making a wish list in June, July, and August, it's pretty much late. They're almost done with the game at that point. Hey, but regardless, the support's been amazing, all right? I got some links on the screen. I did a 1v1 versus Duke. It's right here. And I revisited 2K14 right here, all right? Thank you guys for the support. It's been amazing. That's going to wrap it up for today. Peace out.